Improving lighting efficiency is the best way companies can reduce their energy costs. For that reason, the North American lighting fixture market has become a $12 billion a year industry. We don't sell retail. It, it is not our goal to have a consumer come in and pick up one of our goods. Jason Hendren, the president of Industrial Lighting Products, ILP, has grown the company by specializing in a variety of different high-efficiency lighting technologies, including linear fluorescent, induction, and now LED fixtures. Located in Sanford, Florida, about 40 minutes northeast of Orlando, Hendren says the efficient fluorescent lights he makes will be around for quite some time. I don't think that you're going to see the fluorescent products go away anytime soon. The reality of it is, is that the fluorescents are efficient enough and low cost enough that the return on investment for most building owners is going to be there for them to use the fluorescent products for quite some time. ILP was green long before it was fashionable. Since its inception, Hendren has focused the business solely on manufacturing high efficiency lighting. High bay lighting refers to buildings with large open spaces. Any type of, of tall building, uh, like a warehouse, distribution center, manufacturing center, gymnasium, um, those would all be good high bay spaces. Hendren realized early on that the most efficient way to please customers and grow the business was to offer several appealing services to the same customer. If you were doing a school, you would use our high base for the gym, but then we would sell you the corridor fixtures and the maybe the lay-in fixtures or the retrofit kits for all those different applications so that you could buy an entire project from us and we could supply all the linear fluorescent products. But Hendren also knows that the lighting market is evolving. LED technology has already appeared and is growing in popularity in many areas. But although the LED products are also more expensive, the improved technology should drive significant market growth going forward as the equipment becomes more practical. The cost versus efficiency for fluorescence is still the best bang for your buck that you can get, no question. But the LED lighting technology is really advancing quickly. So, in the interim, ILP will produce both products, fluorescent and LED, as long as LED is more costly. The reality of it is, is that the fluorescents are efficient enough and low cost enough that the return on investment for most building owners is going to be there for them to use the fluorescent products for quite some time. But long-range planning dictates that ILP plan for the day when LED costs make the technology competitive. It's not a eventually coming down, it's continuing to come down. The LED cost is going to continue to come down as the technology increases and frankly the volumes increase. Hendren has had to market his products while keeping an eye out for regional changes across the country. Kentucky, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, those type of, types of states have traditionally had very low cost of power. Now we're starting to see those power rates get up to the point that there's a good return on investment for building owners to make the investment in the fluorescent technology. ILP remains focused on attracting specific customers who are ordering on a large scale. Our goal is to have somebody who's got a thousand fixtures in a large space that we want to give them design services, we want to give them uh, return on investment analysis. Green technology for ILP involves adding motion detectors to lighting systems to cut costs and save energy. There has been for several years a lot of acceptance for motion controls where you can basically detect people in a space and turn off or greatly dim lights when nobody's there. As you move around the ILP plant, you see only a few machines or robots. The frames are punched, folded, and formed, but most of the actual building of the electrical panels is done by humans. It's very important that you make the products right the first time and you have a very robust quality program to make sure that the folks who are doing the wiring are doing it right and you're testing the products at enough frequency to make sure that you're not putting a hazard out in the field. Along with LED lighting, Hendren also has his sights set on another area for growth. The next phase of things for ILP is outdoor lighting. Even though the outdoor lighting market has been tough to make profitable, ILP is developing new products to seize this opportunity. 
Traditionally, outdoor lighting has been a little bit harder of an energy retrofit because the best you can hope for is 12 hours a day. But as utilities are looking for more ways to save energy, that's a great place to go, and we're developing those products to go after those markets. Hendren says being a part of the Finkston family means that growth and quality have to be number one. And what our job is, is to make sure that we're doing a good job at all levels so that the contractors view our products as high quality, the distributors look at our, our products as a good value, delivered on time, with very good quality and the ability to customize the way they want, and ultimately the end users want to know that the material that they're putting in is coming from a reputable co company and our list of installed customers and our reference list speaks for itself. Industrial Lighting Products, your number one source for energy efficient lighting.